welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kristen, and I post DIY, lifestyle, and life hack videos every week. If you're following me on social media, you'll see that I am changing my upload dates to Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Since this video is a little long, I'm gonna just cut straight to the chase and let's get into it. It is not clean. I have just like some crap that I've been storing in here and a picture that I'm like so over it. Uh, those baskets, I don't really know if I like them anymore. Here's just what kind of the closet looks like. I am just so sick of my stuff. I'm just ready to get rid of it all. Let's get started. Like, it's, it's not horrible. I've cleaned out my closet so many times before. This is not, not very bad. Here is a nice clean closet. I'm going to wipe everything down and dust it, sweep the floors. I'm going to take that thing down. Hang on. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it Somehow we can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights I'll die with my own doubts Be free with me A game changer everybody that I show this to oops everybody that I show this to is like so impressed and like cannot believe that it works I love this stuff so you just spray it and then you just shake it out this stuff is just amazing I have to move some of these winter things down because I don't need them and I'm said I'm gonna put my winter stuff inside the winter box right yeah let's do that okay so I have a bunch of winter stuff I'm gonna sell some of these guys and put some of the other winter stuff in here another thing that I always do when I'm packing up my winter stuff is always wrap them in plastic because you never know what might happen i get these plastic bags at the dollar tree and yeah they're just they're nice and thick and they come in handy you can press all the air out and it goes pretty flat so when i am doing my bathing suits i will put them into like plastic baggies and that way i have the top and the bottom together and i can just throw them in here or just grab them and go and then i'm not like rooting through a big giant pile and trying to find, only having the top and trying to find the bottom. Just make sure you don't put them into the baggies when they're wet and then seal them, otherwise they'll get moldy. Once I put my clothes back in the closet, I realized I had this big empty space and wanted to do something with it. So I went to Ikea to see what I could find. If you want to see my Ikea trip, I will leave a link in the description below. So this mirror is the Langesund. So this mirror was $29.99. It's really, really nice and it's like the perfect size. Two of these picture ledges, these were $9.99 each. 
I also picked up this rail thing with some hookies on it. And the cool thing about this rail is that you can get these little basket things that actually hang on it. So I like to keep a little bucket inside my closet to throw in maybe receipts or tags. To go on the picture ledges, I picked up a few different frames. They're kind of like ornate and you kind of like layer them. And then I also picked up these two and these two are the same kind. Last but not least, I picked up this flower pot and a super cute little orchid flower to go in it. I started by hanging the mirrors first and then hanging the shelves around it. So for this bottom picture ledge, I'm going to take this one and flip it upside down so that it looks like this instead of like this. And I'm gonna do the top one up because I won't be able to see this anyway, it's too high. I hung both shelves about six inches away from the mirror. Make sure you use a level when you're hanging them. After hanging the shelves, I hung the rail below the bottom shelf. We are looking great. Now for the finishing touches. I brought in the candle and flower from Ikea and printed off some pictures from Etsy for the frames. Here is a look at the final project. And guys, I could not be more excited for how this turned out. As you can see, my closet really isn't that big and I don't have much room to work with, but bringing in this mirror and these shelves just took it to the next level. Down below, I am I love this dresser. I got it from Target and these are all extra uh, shelves that you can get. And you can buy all of these in different colors there as well. I decided to get two different colors so it wasn't so monotone and then I also got these and these are two separate ones and it just brings a little something extra so I'm trying to keep my jeans down to a minimum of whatever fits same with my shorts and then moving into the drawers we have underwear bras and socks and then I have a little just acrylic bin in here that divides the two and real bras and pajamas. Also trying to keep my pajama drawer down to this little bin. And here we have camis and shorts, like Sophie shorts. And over here we have leggings, because I live in leggings. And of course the white fluffy rug. I got this one, I think it was either Marshalls or TJ Maxx and it was only like $14.99. Bringing a rug into your closet makes it actually feel like it's a real space. It's another part of your house that isn't just a storage room, basically. And then of course we have my little step stool because I'm very short. Another way to make your closet feel more organized and cohesive is to use the same hangers throughout the space. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.